topic 5, adjustment at the end of accounting period, bad debts expense. What is a bad debt? A bad debt is a debt by a customer, an asset to the business that is almost certain cannot be collected. Whenever a bad debt occurs, the debtor's account should be closed. There are many reasons why a bad debt can occur. Among them are the debtor may have passed away. The debtor may have become bankrupt. The debtor may have disappeared and cannot be traced. Journal entry for credit sales. When we sell good to a customer on credit, there will be account receivable. Journal entry for credit sales will be debit account receivable. Why do we debit account receivable? Account receivable is an asset. When we sell, account receivable will increase. Account receivable increase, we have to debit. Therefore, we debit account receivable. We have to credit sales. Why do we credit sales? When we sell, sales will increase. Sales is a revenue. Revenue increase, we have to credit. Therefore, we debit account receivable. We credit sales. Adjusting entry. Bad debts expense. Customer cannot be able to pay. When we sell on credit, sometimes customer which is an account receivable cannot be able to pay or uncollectible debts. But why cannot be able to pay? This is due to certain reasons which I have mentioned earlier on in this chapter, such as death, insane, bankruptcy, disappeared. Uncollectible debts leads to bad debt expense. Bad debt expense is an expense. Expense increase, we have to debit. Therefore, we debit bad debt expense. Account receivable is an asset. Uncollectible account receivable result in decrease of an asset. Asset decrease, we have to credit. We credit account receivable. The description will be to record bad debts expense. Example, on December 31st, 2020, the company has been successfully identified that a debtor named Badru has gone bankrupt and unable to pay its debt for 1,000 ringgit. At the end of accounting period, we have to make an adjustment as our try balance that we have prepared earlier on may not contain up-to-date and complete data. In this case, we have to make an adjustment as Bardrol cannot be able to pay. Uncollectible debts leads to bad debts. Bad debts is an expense. Expense increase, we have to debit. Therefore, we debit bad debt expense 1,000 ringgit. Account receivable is an asset. As customer do not pay, our asset decrease. 
asset decrease, we have to credit. We credit account receivable. Therefore, the complete adjustment for bad debt expense are debit bad debt expense credit account receivable. The description will be to record bad debt expense. How to record in financial statement? Syarikat Chomel Lawa, Statement of Comprehensive Income for the year ended 31st December 2020, minus expenses, back debts expense, 1,000 ringgit. Meanwhile, in Statement of Financial Position, we record as follows. Syarikat Chomel Lawa, Statement of Financial Position, as at 31st December 2020, under current asset, account receivable, previous figure, minus bad debt expense of write-off method, then we get a new figure. Accounting treatment method for bad debts. There are two accounting treatment methods for bad debts. First, write-off method. Second, allowance method. This topic focuses on write-off method as shown by the example above. 